Welcome to my tutorial on how to use Crusader Kings 3 debug menu. You can use this menu for editing a lot of things in game, including your character's stats, traits and titles. If you need help finding the debug menu using Steam or Game Pass on Windows 10, I will leave a guide on how to do this in the video description. So make sure to load the game's launcher in administrator mode and then you want to go to game settings and then near the bottom it says launch the game in debug mode. You can use this with save games as long as it's not an Iron Man save but I'm just going to start a new game. Once your game has loaded, to open the debug menu, you want to press Alt, Shift and C. Now this opens the menu, but it won't close it. To close the menu, you need to press the tilde key. So it's Alt, Shift and C to open and the tilde key to close it. I will just go over a few of the commands that you can use and the ones that you will probably use most often. If you want to see a list of the available commands, you can just press Tab and it will bring up all the commands for you. And if you want to clear the history of inputs, you simply type clear. So let's start by changing our player's age. To do this, all you have to do is simply put age and then a space and then a number that you want the age to change by. So if your character's 20 and you want to make them 30, you simply type age with a space and then 10 and then it will make your character 30. Now on the flip side, in our case, our character is 39 and we want to make him 20. So therefore, we will type minus 19. And then as soon as we press enter, you can see now that the age of our character has changed to 20. If you want to add gold to your character, you simply need to type gold, add a space and then put how much gold you want to receive. So in our case we have 56 gold, say we want to add 5000 gold, we just type 5000 and then you will see the gold has been added. One useful command is the add command. For example, you could use add underscore piety and then a figure of how much piety you want to receive. You could also use add dread, add prestige or negative effects like add stress. But unfortunately, you can't use the add command for things like traits or stats. I will show you how to do that now. Great, superb, excellent, good. Mm -hmm. To change your character's stats, you need to use the change command. So my character in this case has an intrigue stat of seven. So that's a base stat of eight and minus one because of the trait he has. And that is something to keep in mind with your player stats is that traits will add and take away from certain numbers. So to add more intrigue to our character, we need to type change underscore intrigue and then how much intrigue we want to add. And then you can do that with every stat. If you want to add prowess, for example, you can simply type change underscore prowess and then how much prowess you want to receive. Alternatively, you can use the set command instead of the change command. So you can just put set underscore intrigue and then you can just put the amount of intrigue that you want your character to have. The difference with the change command is it will add on to your intrigue and with the set command you can change your stat to an exact number. So now let's go over how you can add and remove titles. To give your character any title in game, you need to type give underscore title and then whatever the title ID is. So if we want the Duchy of Sicily, also known as the Petty Kingdom, then we need to type D underscore Sicily. And if we look at our character, you can see it has given us that title. Now, if we want to have a kingdom, say of Denmark, then we will type K underscore Denmark. And then say if we want the title of the Persian Empire, then we can simply type E underscore Persia. And then as you see here, it's given us those two titles. Now, if you want to give one of your titles to somebody else, then you need to get their player ID code. And you can do that by simply highlighting them with the mouse because clicking on pretty much anything in debug mode will give you the ID of it. So then it's a simple case of typing give underscore title and then the title ID and then a space and then put in the ID number of the character you want to give it to. And if you need to find an ID code of a certain title, you can do that by clicking on the country that it belongs to. What? Were you saying something? This game has a lot of traits, so I will leave a link to a full list of trait ID codes in the description. But to get you started, I will put a few ID codes for some of the most common traits up on the screen for you. And to add these traits to your character, you need to type add underscore trait and then the code of whatever trait you want to add. So in this example, we will add brave. And then say if you want to add a lifestyle trait like schema or a battle trait like holy warrior, you can just add it the same way. And if you want to remove a trait, you simply type remove underscore trait and then the ID of the trait you want to remove. Now, if you want to edit AI characters in your game, it works exactly the same way, but you need to put the ID at the end of the code. So for example, when we change the age, you will simply put the ID of the character you want to change the age of. And this works the same way if you're changing stats or traits or anything else. 
The debug menu also offers a simple way to do things with the interactions panel. You can access this by right clicking on any character in game. I'll give you a few examples on how you can use this. One issue you will come across when giving yourself a title is lots of your newly acquired vassals will dislike you. Well with the interactions panel, you can easily take your vassals titles. The take title and vassals option will take each of their titles one at a time. The only downside to this method is you cannot select which title to take. A few other options the interactions panel offers is maybe you want to get rid of an enemy. Well with the have someone slay them option, you can get a random AI character to eliminate that person. You can also get a weak or strong hook on somebody. And the last thing I will cover with the interactions panel is you can make another character a friend, rival or lover. There's of course many more options the interactions panel offers, but it's definitely a tool worth having. Hey guys, reminder, hit that like button. It's a bad time, Bob. All right. And to finish off, I'm going to quickly go over a few things that you might find helpful. To change your culture, you can type set underscore culture, and then you enter the ID, so in our case, we will pick Swedish. You can also change your faith in a similar way by typing set underscore faith, and then the faith ID. To add men at arms, you type add underscore MAA, and then what type of men at arms you want. So Bowman, for example, this will cost money to add, so make sure that you have enough. If you want armored footman, also make sure you add the underscore and not a space. If you want to discover all the schemes against you, you can type no underscore schemes. And to set when the game saves, you can type save underscore every and then a number for the years. So for example, if you put two, it will make the game save every two in-game years. And then one final thing is if you want to create a pregnancy, you need to type pregnancy, then a space, followed by the mother's ID code, uh, then another space, followed by the father's ID code. So the mother's ID code goes first, and the father of the child will be the second ID code. And that is my tutorial on how to use the debug menu. If you want me to keep making these tutorials, then hit that like button to let me know you like it. But thanks for watching, and until next time.